Who are you? <laughs> hey, remember when I said a couple days ago that that would be the last video of 2021? Well, it's like the next day, and I guess we're gonna do another video today. My partner in crime, who has not been in a video forever, is finally on winter break from school, so she's like, eh, what do you wanna do today? Yeah, and instead of, you know, let's bake some Christmas cookies, or, you know, let's go for a sleigh ride, or something like that, it's let's put on the porch roof. So today we're going to be finishing up the front porch roof, or ceiling. maybe starting it, the ceiling, and uh, we got some other chores to do. We gotta put some lug nuts on this old truck down here that somebody lost a lug nut key to. Uh, and some yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started on that. That's gonna be our Christmas celebration. Uh, we wanted to be in this house by Christmas this year, unfortunately, just with COVID, materials challenges and labor shortages and everything else going on that, you know, we just couldn't get in the house this year. So, you know, we're aiming for some time in the spring and uh, yeah, nothing's gonna happen unless we get this porch done. So we're gonna get going. But first, a huge thank you to Aria for sponsoring today's video. I absolutely, positively love their clothing line. Um, I'm not just saying that because they're a sponsor, I'm saying that because I love them and I love their clothing. If you guys are looking for gifts for someone go ahead and check them out we're gonna leave a link down below where you get 10% off your first purchase and yeah let's get started on this roof let's do some work it's nice out So if you find yourself in a situation where you got these stupid security lug nuts, grilling nuts usually, and you lose the key to take them off, we're just swapping them out with a regular good old fashioned lug nut. Take a three quarter inch impact driver, whack it on there and just get off the old bolt because these are stupid. Now that that's project's done, let's start figuring out what we're doing with uh, J channel here. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and some change pieces. All right, push that up. There you go. Let me get this end to this corner. All right. See if that'll, yeah, reach there. That's pretty much all there is to it. Don't do the end, we'll uh, overlap and then we'll do the... Perfect, good job, honey. All right, so I'm in an end piece here and that's like 25 and a quarter inch right there. So I'm gonna cut a 25 and a quarter, butt the end up against that side. And then for that piece, I'm gonna cut a miter on that side that kind of tucks in there and I'll show you how I do that. Just little shears. Today is a little warmer <clears throat> than when I was doing the back porch so this stuff's a little more pliable and easier to cut which is nice. When it's cold it tends to want to just crack and break. Tuck this one on the inside because when you look at it Either way, I want to make sure you don't see the scene as easily. Push that in there, butt it up against there. There we go. 
Right. Use the fat tape measure with the big standout, like oh, eight feet of standout. That's pretty nice. So we'll cut that, and then we'll do the miter part. We're basically only going to cut this little part here, and then kind of back cut that to get it out of the way. And uh, like I said, I back cut it a little bit. Just get this junk out of the way, because you won't see it and it won't be in the way. There. Tuck it in behind this piece and run it right there. Perfect miter. All right. So back a few videos ago when I was talking about this awesome flannel shirt that Ariat makes, uh, my new favorite shirt. I've been waiting on this shirt for months. It's been on back order. It's the same shirt, but in charcoal heather. So I want to check it out. Got a lens cleaning cloth made of microfiber. I mean, come on, it's perfect. You're like the gray man. <laughs> Christmas day and 70 degrees and it's beautiful so nothing else going on might as well try and finish this ceiling right now I'm cutting out a ceiling box for the fan five and five eighths to nine and a half let's see that's gonna fall right on that seam which is gonna be fun to cut Holy crap, that is exactly on that seam. Moment of truth. I think I did that once or twice. Thankfully, that's the last one. I don't have to do that anymore. I'm also trying to make up about a half inch out of square, about an eighth at a time before we get down to the end of the run.
Okay, that was it. It's Christmas Day, about four o'clock. Pretty productive for Christmas, and uh, we're really happy with the way this turned out. Yep, Santa brought us a new ceiling, porch ceiling, and it looks really great. And I want to make a comment about the materials that we're choosing for this build. Um, the materials that we're choosing are all materials that require very low maintenance, especially as we age and aren't going to be able to maintain um, the house as, as much as we'd like to as if we were younger. <laughs> um, one thing to really be concerned about in this area are things like carpenter bees, carpenter ants. Um, and so we're trying to choose materials that, you know, those are, that are going to be prohibitive against those mm -hmm. particular insects and also that are easy maintenance for us. So that's what you're going to see in this build and probably what you have been seeing if you've been following the channel all along. Yeah. So we, I guess we'd probably saved a couple thousand dollars by doing this project yourself. It wasn't hard at all. Just, you know, you got to take your time and figure it out and do it. But uh, on a scale of one to 10 of difficulty, I'd say it's about a four for if you have DIY experience. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. Yeah, she did a great job. And this uh, new worm drive skill saw from Milwaukee works fantastic. Uh, so far, I haven't had any problems with it cutting anything that I've tried to cut with it. If you want one, pick one up, northerntool.com. And uh, I want to thank Area for sponsoring us this year on this channel. They're a great sponsor, great partner, great mm -hmm. clothes. Really high quality clothes. I love their line. So Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy New Year. Uh, it's 70 degrees here. I think we'll go have a cocktail and call it a year. You guys have a wonderful New Year's Eve, and we will see you on the other side. Peace.